we're going to be installing some vent visors and the first thing you need to do is when you take them out of the package is you want to make sure that if you have a two-door two vehicle you want to make sure that you have a left and you have a right and usually they're stamped right here on the outer portion or they could be on the back side right here on the inner on the inner lip you want to make sure that you have a left and you have a right and if you have a four-door you want to make sure you have two lefts and two rights so always check your product to make sure you have it all there and secondly what you want to do is you want to do a test run and what i mean by a test run is you just want to just take your product and just kind of sit it up to the vehicle get an idea of where it's going to be attached to a lot of people they they'll take the tape off and just stick it up there and once it's there it's going to be very hard to take it back off and hope that it sticks again so always do a test run first with your product of course i've done my front and of course you want to test your rear to make sure everything clears. Uh, we'll test fit it. Like I said, you just get an idea where it's going to go at. And another thing is, is always you can kind of use your top portion as a guide. And then on the inner side, you have, usually try to keep the same equal distance on both sides before you apply them. After you've test fitted your product, you want to make sure you go with, there's some alcohol pads that comes in it. You want to clean your surface. It's very important because a lot of, a lot of times these things come off and it's only because of the fact that they're not cleaned properly. And where it's going to stick at is where you want to make sure you clean it real good. And that's on both sides. I always start with doing the front visor first, and I use it as a guide for the rears. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull back some tape. Now don't just pull it all off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it back, and I always expose about two, two and a half inches. And what you do is you pull it back and you just kind of fold it right there so it's hanging out like that. And usually I do both ends like that. Now on the short pieces, really, I just go ahead and just pull them off because it's not gonna be that hard to really attach it to the vehicle and it'd be a problem. So make sure you get all your protection off of it before you attach it. You don't really have to blow it, that just speeds up the process a little bit. But what I'm gonna do is you wanna just kinda set it on here. Just kinda get an idea, just kinda eye it before you actually press it down because you can always pull them back up really easy to kind of move it to where it needs to be. And what you want to do is kind of just, like I said, keep, keep an eye on your top and then just kind of sit it there. And just kind of step back and get a, get a nice close look. But before you finish that one off, go ahead and grab your rear one. And you're going to pull that tape off just like, a, like you did on the front one. The little small sections, I always just go ahead and get those out of the way because they can get complicated sometimes when they don't want to come off easily. Pull it back about two and a half inches, fold it outward, and then we'll go ahead and, like I said, you make sure everything is your, your surface has been clean. And we'll go ahead and stick it, kind of just kind of use that as a guide to line these together. Like I said, before you go all the way on with them, I just kind of just tack them up there and kind of stand back. And what you want to do is you want to make sure your body line, everything is flowing. Make sure you're even here and everything flows downward. Like I said, I always kind of keep up here and take a look to make sure everything is even there too. And once you're, you're comfortable with the way it looks, then what you're going to do is you're going to go back and you're going to kind of just press on each end to make sure she's not coming off and you're going to take and pull this tape up and as you pull it up you can kind of work it with it and just and that one's on and then we're going to do the same here we're going to tack it and just pull this tape up it makes the install a whole lot easier Now, what I always do is I never use my hand to run around it. Get a soft towel, and you want to just apply 
right where that tape is, all the way around here, pressing it down so that tape really sticks to the truck. Same here. And then, like I said, you just wipe it off. And when cleaning these, always use a soft towel. Using a rough towel can put very fine scratches. And if you're anything like me, you don't like scratches. So, and there you go. And that's how you install your vent visors.